hello friends after defining the section properties now we can model our building so there are various ways by which you can model a building so you have to practice and practice so that you become more efficient in modeling so uh, this is one of the various methods that you can use to model your structure okay so in this method what we will do is that we will begin from the ground floor so uh, currently i am at the ground floor as you can see over here so gf it's written ground floor z is equal to that is the elevation is equal to 1.2446 meters so first we will draw the columns up to the ground floor so for that what we'll do we'll use this option that is quick draw beam columns okay so uh, just click here after that a dialog box appears and the property will select over here is the column so and movement release is continuous and other things we don't need right now so i've explained these things in the next section so you can check what these mean by watching those videos after selecting the desired section so this is a very important thing you know most of the people forget this thing and sometimes they just select the beam and draw the columns okay so this might make very bizarre results okay so you have to make sure that you select the proper section so let's select the column after that you can either keep this window or just close it so, uh, let us just close it so that we can see the 3d view as well so after which what you can do so we got a column over here right so that you can see from the AutoCAD drawing if you see the architectural drawing then you can see that you got column over here right so to draw the column over there up to that floor that is up to the ground floor so what you have to do so you, have, you just have to go over there once it locks you just have to left click okay so we just left click now you can see that a column has been drawn up to the ground floor from the base okay so you can see this thing on the 3d view as well to draw the column at the next point you do the similar thing that is over over there once it locks left click again go to the next point and left click okay this is one method to draw the column and it is very easier so you don't have to go to each elevation and draw the columns you can draw the columns using the plan okay so another method to quick draw the column is that so suppose that you got columns at all these points okay so what do you have to do you just have to left click here okay don't release your left mouse button after that drag your mouse like this and once you reach the point up to where you have to draw the columns just release the left mouse button so you can see that you got all these columns over here so also you got columns over here after drawing the column in the ground floor now we'll draw the ground floor beams so for that what we can do so so there are various ways by which you can draw a beam so i'll show you these methods one by one so uh, the first method we will select uh, this option draw beam column and left click so after that di this dialog box appears so the property is uh, beam is fine movement releases is continuous and other things what they are we'll see in the next section so after that what do you have to do you have to left click here okay at this point and take your mouse and again left click right so again left click so on this way you can go on and on and draw beams for all these grids or what you can do so just uh, hit escape so another option is this shortcut option so quick draw beam columns so we'll select it and the property is beam make sure it is selected and you just can left click here left click here left click here so by this you can quickly draw your beams okay and similarly if you left click here also here you will get the beams another method is just like we drew these columns what we have to do is left click here don't release your left mouse button drag your mouse like this 
and after that release your mouse uh, we didn't get columns here uh, for these three columns that we missed just left click left click and left click so you can do uh, this thing from here so you just left click drag your mouse and release your mouse button right so by this also you can quickly draw your beams in one second all right